Hey guys, this is Kamal. Um, I've installed uh, Windows 7 Ultimate on my Asus E701 and it is running pretty nicely. And in this video, I'm going to do a quick boot up of it and I will try to run a few applications on it. Uh, I obtained this ISO from uh, from a torrent website though, uh, which is basically an unlighted uh, version. I'm going to do a quick boot up test now. Let me fire up a stopwatch application. Uh, and let me let me zoom on a bit on the screen. Let's see how it goes. The power button on my 701 is a bit stiff. It should run. Come on, yeah, here it goes. So let's start. This unlighted version is not taking quite a lot, uh, not much space on my uh, 701, mainly because I moved the page file to the uh, RAM disk which I created. So, as you can see, it is loading pretty fast. 24 seconds have passed, 26. It's doing pretty good, I mean, compared to the other netbooks which I own. I own Asus E12101T and which runs on AMD MV40 and compared to that it, uh, the loading times are pretty much similar uh, but that is not running the unlighted version but it's still pretty good to see a two year old netbook booting the latest version of windows that fast the Wi-Fi drivers it took it like 50 alright so we are done with the boot it took it almost a minute a minute or two seconds uh, I would like to mention that uh, uh, the Wi-Fi drivers I had I, I didn't have to install anything on it I mean just the basic stuff uh, only the VGA driver I had to install nothing else uh, everything got recognized straight out of the box so perhaps the guy who made this uh, enlightened version didn't remove all the drivers uh, what else? I mean, let's try opening. Let's try open Internet Explorer on it. All right, so we are here. I hate Internet Explorer though. Let's open. Let's fire Firefox. I think I do have few add-ons on it. I have. Okay, I've not installed any add-on. Let's open EE user.com It's pretty nice to see a device this old running Windows 7 this fast and the arrow of course doesn't work because the I guess the uh, GMA 500 driver GMA 950 drivers are not supported in Windows 7 Oh, they are supported but the arrow is not supported Okay, let's fire a few other apps. Notepad. I'll try opening as many apps I can, as I can. I don't have a lot of install, a lot of stuff installed on this though. Uh, okay, let's fire up. Okay, Foxit Reader I have installed on this one. Okay, Foxit Reader. To get it, a, to get a second to load it. Control panel. Now this this comes with a lot of icons. I eh? okay. Just, so no wait thanks to the SSD just close them up okay let's I'm, I don't I do not have I've not installed flash on it so cannot test YouTube I, on it right now it will probably ask for the uh, plugin yes let's try this one yeah I got, I'm getting the same error known it from Adobe so maybe I'll do that later on. Ah, I, I, however, I would like to mention that I'm running it at stock speed. So I'm still running it at 630 megahertz, which is the default speed at which the 701 runs. My right click is broken, so I cannot show you that. Oh, it is working, okay. So as you can see, let me zoom in. 
I'm running it at 630 megahertz right now and this version comes pre-activated so I know it's not legal but hey I'm not going to shell out uh, 70 80 bucks for a new Windows 7 license just for a two year old computer and that too so underpowered uh, I have a 255 uh, I've designated 255 MB RAM for the RAM disk and what else do you want me to say just let me know in the comments maybe I will give it a test drive or why don't you guys install it yourself the download is like the 700 MB so just download it and let me know how it runs on your old computers so that's pretty much it the battery of my 701 has died so that is why you see a cross sign here because I do not have battery here on my 701 it's running in balance mode so I'll maybe probably I will keep it for some days and then I will go back to my go back to Ubuntu 10.10 so hey it looks pretty small compared to my MacBook Pro heck even the screen of uh, my HD2 <laughs> pretty much comparable to the 7 inch screen of the 701 and they pack the same resolution that's the funny thing <laughs> alright guys see you later